Hey you guys, it's Jay Hen with Jay Hen Travel and Services and I'm here with another Travel Tech Tuesday video. So if you guys have been checking out my uh, Travel Tech Tuesday videos, you have seen in my last two Travel Tech Tuesday videos, I was on the search for a space heater. Now, I did already have this space heater. I bought this one about a month ago, a little over a month ago, and it is made by Lasco. And it does have some of the uh, features that I like, which this whole area here blows out heat. The whole area here blows out heat. So I got to thinking, why not just look for another... Um, space heater that's made by the same brand and that's what brings us to this video here today so today in this video i'm going to be unboxing and giving my um, honest review of this space heater right here it, like i said it's made by lasco it's called the digital ceramic uh, tower heater and again just by uh some of the i'm going to just go through some of the stuff that's on the outside of the box to let you know some of the features that they're saying that this uh, lasco space heater actually has so one of the cool things that i think is um very cool I'm not sure how much i use it but it does say that it comes with a multi-function remote control which does require three AAA batteries up oh, i'm going to get up and go get some batteries because i don't even have none right here in this area but it does require three AAA batteries that are not included it says it's easy to use comfort select controls there's an adjustable thermostat there's an um, eight-hour auto-off timer, and there's two quiet um, heat settings, and this space heater also has 1,500 watts of comforting warmth, and it's uh, fully assembled, and it does have um, oscillation, so it does uh, move, so it can heat up you know, the area by moving back and forth. So those are some good things to think about, and, and if you've been looking at my other... Uh, Travel Tech Tuesday videos, you know that I've been talking about these charts that are on the back of here, on the back of these uh, space heaters, that kind of compare the space heaters to other types of space heaters. So this is a ceramic heater, and this says the air is warmed as it passes over large ceramic and aluminum heating element. Heat is dispersed by a powerful fan. And then it says key benefits. It says quick, powerful heat. And then they give some stars um, rating compared to this unit to other units. Um, it says slow, steady heat. This one does have a one star. It says for quick heat, it has three stars. Directional personal heat, they gave it three stars. Strong intense heat, it has two stars. Drafty room heat, it has two stars. Quiet heat, it does have a one star, so we'll see if it's uh, loud or not. And then it says best suited for active homes. They did give it a um, two stars, and a part of that best suited for active homes has to deal with uh, the space, he space heaters having like uh, tip over protection and overheating protection or cool to touch protection. So let's um, go ahead and open up the box and see what's inside. And so um, another thing that they're saying on here as well is that there is an adjustable um, thermostat. So, you know, sometimes they take these up pretty nice. So got to have the scissors on deck to open it up. I hope everybody out there is staying healthy and safe. During these times, so just going to open this up and take it on off the box here. See if we can have any. Oh, it's... all right. Wow. So there it is. Wow. So they do have this um, wrapped up. Okay. So they actually have the instructions, the remote control, and warranty information inside. It's their uh, own little bag here, as well as the remote control. Looks like it's inside a separate bag two on the inside so you just got your warranty information your instructions manual probably uh troubleshooting information's in here safety features and then we do have the remote control that takes i believe three triple a batteries so i will have to get three 
AAA batteries to control this. Remote control. Okay, you guys, so I have my batteries inside the remote control. I'm sorry I was seeing three A's and I don't know why I was thinking three AAA batteries, but it actually, the remote control actually only takes um, two AAA batteries. And um, the keypads or the controls that are on this multifunction remote control are actually the same functions and uh, buttons that are on side, that are on the um, space heater as well. Now on the back of the space heater, there is a place which can be very, which this can be very, very convenient so you don't end up losing the remote control. How many times have you like lost your remote control not knowing where you put it at, set it down someplace. But it does have a spot right here where the remote control can easily hook on to the space heater. So you never have to worry about where did I put that remote control at if you always just attach it to the back here. And then here is the easy carrying handle. So you can just grab it by this to move it. And let me turn it around and then we'll just look at some of the features that are on the remote control here. So on the remote control, it's one, two, there's six um, buttons on here or controls on here. And we'll just bring it a little bit closer so you guys can actually see the buttons that are on the um, remote control. So we're just gonna take a look at this remote control here. So here we have a power button. This is the um, stop and start for the oscillation or the moving of the uh, space heater. This button here functions from um, high to low. This is a timer, which it can, uh, like I said, it can be on set on a timer for up to eight hours if a person wants. And then these two, there's a plus button at the bottom and a minus bottom at the bottom and that's for controlling the thermostat. And so we'll just hit the power button here. And so as I turned it on, it is actually on high, I guess out the box right now, at least mine is, and the heat is, the heat is already very warm. And I'm standing, man, about three to four feet away and I can feel it from across the room already. It's, it's, it's very hot on high heat. So, and we're just gonna turn it up here and it looks like the highest it goes is up to 90 degrees and like they did say on the box, it's quick heat and it is forced air blowing out of it and it is actually hot. So the highest that I just was able to get it on is 90 degrees. Okay, and we got to see how we can turn this because I do have a lot of light um, coming behind me and a glare uh, on the screen here. So let's see which way I can turn this. Okay, so we'll turn it this way. I think it's less light that way. So again, um, hit the power button. The power goes off. It's, it's even hot on 69 degrees. So um, the power can turn on. Let's see. So you can do low heat, high heat. I mean, the heat is still very intense is it on 90 yes on 90 so we can actually turn it down this thing is hot and or we can do the same thing right here on the space heater you can turn the heat up and down and then this button here makes it rotate or move around and oscillate And I think this is exactly what I was looking for and exactly what I needed. I mean, the heat is on 69 and it's burning, burning up. I got to move back. I got to take a step back. So as you can see, it does oscillate. So if you're in an area and you're trying to share the heat with someone and they're saying, why you only got this uh, space heater on me? This way you can solve that problem because... This does rotate and move, and then you can always stop it in the area that you want it to stop at. And so I know it didn't get uh, three stars for sound, but for me, it's not really that loud. I've uh, Some of the other space heaters I tried out were a lot louder than this, and for the heat that it's giving off, 
I don't even mind the sound because it's going to do the job that I need it to do. So for me, I give this a thumbs up. I am going to keep this. I believe my search for space heaters is now officially over and I'll be set for the cold winter months in Wisconsin. If this is your first time checking out me in an unboxing and Travel Tech Tuesday video, go ahead, hit that subscribe button down below. Um, let me know what you guys think about this space heater or if you have any questions about the unboxing that took place here today or any questions about this space heater. Um, leave me a comment down at the bottom. If you like the video, hit the like button down there. Until next time, peace.